my name is Angela and Mosley. So that's like my stage name. Um, I use it and it took me a while to accept, you know, that that's who I am and I'm gonna go with my full name as opposed to having a stage presence and all that. My purpose is, um, I'll have to say like this uh, artist and art critic, his name was Emil Zola. He says my purpose is to live out loud and I will have to say that. Right to three, and that's that. Doom, 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 doom. So are you talking right after the da 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 the stings? Da 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 da. -da <laughs> yep. And then go right to three. Right to three. The second time. Yep. Stuff just started happening, and it's been amazing. Seriously, and I love it um, because they know Black history, and that's the part that like has me. They couldn't, like, why are y'all being treated like that? Why are they doing that to y'all? So how's everybody doing tonight? Good, are you ready to worship God a little bit more? Okay, so we're gonna have you stand on your feet because we're gonna get excited about the Lord and put our hands together and clap our hands and worship God tonight. So you know this song, so feel free to join in. my experience although it is my own but um, I'm sharing it with other people and allowing other people in my space so having family friends back in the, the states that are you know encouraging me and telling me like you know you're living your life you're living your truth and I'm living vicariously through you that keeps me on um, on point with what I'm doing um, so, I've seen Angela come here to West High a few times, she's performed and sang, and she's also given some speeches on Recognition Night, um, so, um, I really like when she comes over because, like, people are so open and to ask her questions and stuff, and she gives, like, direct, um, answers. I really like how she sets an example by pursuing music, even though a lot of people doubted her at first, and... So uh, she sets a really great example for the rest of us to follow. I dream of a world where we could all be accepted. This world we live in surrounded by beautiful faces, minds, religions, cultures, colors, shapes and sizes. Yet I'm tired of being tested in a world where we are always neglected and I'm sick and tired of being suspected, selected, corrected, everything but interconnected. And I'm sick and tired of saying the same words but I just want to be heard in a world where we matter the most. There's not enough time to be transferred, unheard, in a blur. We all need the bleed, the speed, the need to unite us. We just need to love and respect. This world just needs us to connect. We just need to adjust and trust. Only then can we thrust. All I'm asking is to show me love. When I get on stage and perform, like there are some people that say that, you know, they get nervous and it's, uh, they're jittery in the stomach and all that and feels like they have butterflies. To me, it's like I'm getting on there and I'm about to engage with the audience and share with them. 
and it's like let's make this happen let's just have fun if we mess up a note if we you know uh, get the wrong tune let's start over and let's try it again you know I don't look at it as like you have to be on this a you have to do this no we up there to have fun engage with the audience make sure they have a good time and walk off the stage What what would be something very valuable for them to grasp along their journey? Um, I would have to say the best advice that I could give somebody who is whether it's for them wanting to be a musician, an artist, whatever, just go for it because. Um, too often in life, we allow fear and advice and words of others keep us um, stagnated. But go for it. If it should not work out the first time, you can always have a do-over. So that's how I look at my life right now. I've tried my hand at education, tried my hand at you know doing administration stuff and all that, but I never gave myself the my truth and pursued being an artist, being a musician. So that's what I'm doing now. So I'm living it.